So here we go for a lap of the Marina Bay Street Circuit. It's a short pit straight heading towards Turn 1. In 2015, the drivers were hitting 308 kilometers an hour before breaking to 126 in third gear for the left-hander, with Turn 2 following immediately. The drivers take a variety of lines into the 85 km an hour second gear, tight left of Turn 3, accelerating through the kink of 4 and up to 250 km an hour before reaching Turn 5. It's important to get a good exit from this tricky 120 km an hour right-hander. Turn 6 is another kink and the drivers then carry on to hit speeds of 319 km an hour before they hit the brakes, 5G of deceleration down to 104, slowing in just 1.4 seconds for the 90 degree left of Turn 7. They're quickly into the 72 km an hour right at Turn 8, which they take in second gear. They then head into the 117 km an hour third gear left of Turn 9. Now down another straight, the Padang Concert area is on our left here, reaching speeds of 274 before arriving at Turn 10, a third gear left taken at 127. The tough 100 km an hour left right of Turn 11 has been modified over the years. This sequence tests the drivers and then the blast over the Anderson Bridge before braking from 214 down to 61 and first gear for the tight left at Turn 13. Then it's back on the throttle for another straight, where the drivers will hit speeds of 290 km an hour before braking to 83 in second gear for Turn 14. Another right-hander, an overtaking spot in the race. After heading through the left kink of Turn 15, the drivers will have to quickly break from 242 down to just 87 for the second gear right at Turn 16, and then tackle the tight 117 km an hour left of Turn 17. The drivers will take the famous 84 km an hour turn 18, which goes left underneath the grandstands and will catch out the unwary in the race. All that's left now is the double left hand bends of turn 22 and 178 km an hour and the final blast of 23 before it's on to another lap of Marina Bay, the Singapore Grand Prix circuit.